Kimani Chungu and his team, Railo Dinga and Azmio team, from Sunday in Kamukunji will go back to the people of Kenya to deal with William Samoy Root. So we'll go on, and I want to thank you for urging us to go on with the engagement of the people of Kenya as we did the consultations. And it behoves us now at this stage of the talks to go back to the people of Kenya to brief them where we have come from, where we are, and where we want to go. So we agree with you, and we'll walk this journey together. <laughs> Lastly, we want to say those who are saying they cannot bring the issue of the server on the table. What we have been shown in Ufungamano today convinces me more than ever that indeed Raylo Dinga won this election, but he was denied victory. And if Gashagwa, I heard Wetangula, I heard Mudavadi and Ruto himself saying that the only way he can sit with Raylo Dinga is if he recognizes the legitimacy of his presidency and his government. Today from Ufungamano, we want to say this that that legitimacy is not Raila's to give Ruto. That legitimacy can only be given the day the server is opened. I believe that's going to be one of our resolutions. And if he wants the recognition and legitimacy from the rest of Kenya, because so far he's a minority leader. Leaders have said he was elected by only a third of the electorate of Kenya. The silent majority is not with him. His legitimacy is in question until the day those servers are opened. So stuck in the same Mengi, I want to agree with Churchill as he comes. The issue of uh, Article 35 of our Constitution remains alive, and Kenyans have the right to ask for that information. Smartmatics refused to open the servers. They wrote a letter. We still have it. So those who are saying you open the server, you know what Smartmatics your friends did. If you are smart enough, tell your Smartmatic friends to open the server. Story here, Kwishe, Suba Churchill, Karibu readers' resolutions. Then we'll bring our two leaders to speak to us. Karibu.